again to all of my beautiful and diverse friends out in YouTube land. I'm at it again in the kitchen. Hot and tooty recipes are going to start tomorrow or the next day. Hot and tooty recipes. <laughs> Doesn't even sound right. Anyway, um, but right now I'm making something that we eat quite often for a meal and that is turkey sloppy joes, but we don't do it like everybody else does because I don't do bread. Um, so I am gonna make it my way. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do to make turkey sloppy joes. Um, I add all kinds of veggies and have sides of veggies and stuff like that. So let me turn this camera around and show you what I'm putting in the oven and tell you why. Look at these beauties. Spaghetti squash. I make sloppy joes. By the way, I make them with the McCormick mix and Hunt's tomato paste. I do not buy the jars because there's way more sugar in that credola. But sorry for all of you Manwich fans. I know it tastes good, but I do it. With that stuff, I'm gonna put the spaghetti squash in the oven to roast at 400 degrees for, I think I put them in for about 45 minutes. And then I'm gonna take them out and I will show you guys how I make the actual sloppy joe part of it. And let me show you what else I put in with it. Okay, so I have the, the stuff I use to make the actual, you know, sauce for the sloppy joes. And then I put in two green peppers, a sweet onion or yellow onion. I happen to have some green onions right now, so I'm gonna throw those in there. And then there's one more thing I put in well, the meat that I use, let me show you what that is. Hold on one second. Ground turkey. I don't do beef. I don't do pork. So we do ground turkey. This is actually just Kirkwood ground turkey. It's from Aldi. I think it was like $2.89 for the pound. Um, the reason I actually put in, and sometimes I'll put in beans, by the way. I'm not doing that today. But the reason I put all these in is, number one, it gets veggies in. And number two, it makes it go further. But I put all of this over the spaghetti squash. And I actually have some broccoli here. If you cut up broccoli and you put a paper towel in with it, it does tend to keep the broccoli drier, makes it stay fresher longer. There's the little tip of the day. Sorry, there's headphones in there. <laughs> and I'm gonna make some Brussels sprouts with it for a side as well. I have a couple of baked potatoes in the fridge. I think I'm gonna have one of the sweet potatoes. And yeah, so I will show you when I'm putting the sauce together because I also throw some garlic in, which I, I cheat and I buy the jars of minced garlic, but I'll be throwing that in too. So see you in just a second. Oh, oh, oh don't you see spaghetti squash made by me? Sorry. <laughs> the spaghetti squash is roasted beautifully. And done. Let's see if I can flip one of these over. Man, I wish you guys had smell a vision. It smells like this earthy, sweet, pumpkin-y, beautiful smell in here. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look. Oh my gosh. So excited. I have got to be the biggest culinary nerd. I get excited over roasted spaghetti squash. Anyway, the spaghetti squash is done. And now this beauty is ready for some chopped peppers, onions, and garlic to saute. Be back in just a second with that deliciousness. Okay, so I have chopped up the green pepper, green onion, sweet onion, threw some garlic in there. I don't know if you guys can see it. And then I actually, just for the veggies, I put on some, or put in, put on some sea salt, garlic powder, because I like a little extra kick and black pepper, which also gives a little extra kick. I'm gonna saute this and make sure it's nice and caramelized, a little bit browned, and then I'm gonna add the turkey burger, the ground turkey to that, and then um, the tomato paste and the McCormick Sloppy Joe seasoning mix and a cup and a half of water, and that's it. And voila, you have Sloppy Joes. Be back in just a second. Oh, this is one of my favorite parts, sauteing the peppers and onions and garlic. Do you hear the sizzle? So good. Okay, I'm going to finish sauteing this 
monumental deliciousness. And then I'm going to put in the, the um, turkey and the sauce. It'll be done before you know it. Oh, yeah. Yum. I just put the turkey in with these delicious vegetables. And vegetables, fruit? Is bell pepper a fruit because it has seeds? I have to look that up. I should know that. I've worked with food for years and years. Anyway, I put the turkey in with it to snatch up all that delicious flavor. Right after this, I'm going to put in the tomato paste to kind of warm it and integrate it into the warm turkey vegetable mixture and then the sloppy joe seasoning mix um and then a cup and a half of water maybe start out with a cup and a quarter depending on how thick you like your sloppy joes if you like them super thick do a cup and a quarter if not do a cup and a half but anyway i'm going to do that and make some brussels sprouts and broccoli and then i'll plate it up and show you guys but uh, let's get the sauce in here first, because who doesn't like sloppy joes that are a little saucy? Here's a little spiced sauciness for your day. You smell that? Oh, yes. I put a little Cholula hot sauce in with mine. The great thing about this is I, I like the big chunks of peppers and onions, you guys. You can make them tiny, you can not put them in at all, you can put beans in, you can put mushrooms in. Um, it might even be good topped with some sliced pulled mango. Yeah, get creative, get a little crazy. Um, you can add a little bit of red wine vinegar if you like a little extra tang. Some people like to add a little bit of ketchup and mustard. Add a little extra tang there. I might actually add just a wee bit of mustard here. But yeah, this is it. And I will show you, through the magic of YouTube in just a second, a beautiful plated up, delicious, delicious meal. I like having ideas like given to me, you know, for, for um, meals. I have the squash, by the way, it's been resting. Oh, that's gonna be so good. I love having like new ideas for meals. So I love sharing them with you guys. And yeah, I'll see you in just a second. Okay, before I plate this up, I was going to show you guys um, the broccoli. I'm just kind of like simmer steaming in a frying pan, which works really, really well. And I love, 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 love all these steamed vegetables. Their steamed baby Brussels sprouts are so, so good. They're amazing. Aldi is my favorite. But I just want to show you guys that because these are my two little cheat methods for greens. Usually I put a little less water in here so it's more of a steam than a simmer. But this time I kind of overdid the water. But anyway, okay, now, now I'm going to plate it up. And there we have it, folks. Looks like a lot of food, doesn't it? It actually isn't very high in calories, though. Brussels sprouts and broccoli, which by the way, the house smells delicious with a little sprinkle of diaper on top <laughs> because we all know how Brussels sprouts and broccoli smell when you cook them, but this, oh man, I'm so excited to tuck into this. This is like an epic meal, but super healthy, really good for you. By the way, this um, turkey, uh, la, 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 sloppy joe, wow, couldn't remember the name of it. Uh, freezes really well too. Like once you have made it already, it freezes really, really well. And so, you know, if you're just like a single person or if there's two of you and you make an extra big batch of it, you can keep half in the fridge and put half in the freezer and get it out at a later time to make. But yeah, there is our delicious, delicious meal of the day. Delicioso. Yeah. Anyway, I'm so glad you came along and watched my cooking video. I feel like an official Food Network chef here, right? I've done so many cooking videos now. But anyway, I will see you guys again very, very soon. Until I do, keep your flip-flops sandy, your cotton candy, and your food delicious. Mm-hmm. Bye, everybody.